Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magnum channel. Uh, we're out here on the berm doing some ballistic testing today. So uh, I had my SP-101 out and had it dirty, so I thought, well, it's crazy not to do a uh, video with this particular ammo I have. This is my chosen uh, self-defense or home defense round uh, if you're going to use a handgun at all. And this is the Underwood ammo, uh, 357 Magnum. You can see the specs there, 158 grain XTP. Uh, I do have a note there. I have chronographed this before. They rated at 1,500 feet per second, if you can see there where I've scribbled. So this is a full house 357 Magnum. Uh, back in uh, in six guns, in uh, Elmer Keith had written that uh, the 357 Magnum can handle a 160 grain bullet to a full 1,500 feet per second. So this is loaded up as hot as a 357 can go. And uh, we'll see what we're getting out of this two and a quarter inch barrel. <laughs> This is an unfired round, so this is the 158 grain Horn 80 XTP. Uh, it is using Starline brass, so that's great. We'll see what we get out of this two and a quarter inch uh, SP 101. I'm going to go ahead and shoot two targets today. We're going to shoot a bowling pin and then a water jug to see how it performs on that. Here is the test gun, the SP 101. Here's our two rounds, and we'll see what kind of velocity we get and how it performs on water. This is from a distance of 10 feet. The velocity here, 1355. That is trucking right along out of this short barrel. So if anybody ever tells you that a 357 Magnum is no good out of a two and a quarter inch SP-101, they are wrong about that. Okay, so this is the target today. This was a, uh, as you can see, it was a dial dial soap thing this is just full of water now I did wash it out really good so now the reason it's sort of green is because of the um, antifreeze I put in it I filled this a while ago didn't want it to freeze in the winter time so uh, what I'm gonna try to do is line it up with the cowboy back there from about 10 feet and if we get a pass through hopefully we'll see it hit on the cowboy because obviously I'm, it's gonna pass through but uh, when it passes through we'll see if we can also hit the cowboy Okay, hopefully you can see where we impacted the target right there. It's a little off center, but not too bad. And you can see it split out the front really big. Split out another random part on the side. I don't know what that's about. And then if you flip it over, it also split out the back pretty good there. See all that little foam sticking out. This is a tougher plastic than a uh, milk carton, so it's kind of interesting the result we had here. But uh, also split this seam up by the handle. That's kind of interesting too. So, uh, didn't like it. You also saw the cowboy back here. He got hit pretty hard. So, uh, still had a lot of authority to smack him once we passed through the other uh, jug there. Okay, everybody, well, that about wraps up this test on the Underwood 158 grain XTP. We chronographed it at 1,350 feet per second. That is moving right along for this two and a quarter inch barrel. I think it shows that uh, a 357 Magnum is still viable even if it only has a three inch barrel or a two and a quarter inch barrel. And uh, really knocked the snot out of that water jug too. So anyway, if you're carrying an SP-101 or maybe even an LCR and 357 Magnum or some Smith, Smith & Wesson uh, Scandium frame gun, uh, this could be a good choice.